statements from the president during the campaign. And that's why I would not want in any way to cite the plan or the manifesto, mm -hmm. because the backdrop of all of the revolution is a failed delivery of the same manifesto, the plan that the president ascended to power with. If you go around, which we do all the time, and ask uh, young mothers, why did you vote for the president? They'll tell you, oh, he promised me free diapers yeah. and maternity care for the first three months. Not a single parent, young mother, has received mm -hmm. that. If you go around and ask you, uh, the youth, the Gen Z, well, why did you, those who voted, did you vote for the president? They'll tell you, well, he said, I'll be calling endlessly. You know, mm -hmm. I'll not run out of, out of uh, airtime and bundles. Mm -hmm. Not a single uh, Gen Z who voted for the president has experienced that promise. So let's, let's not bury our head in the sun. Okay. It okay. is crystal clear that we're in a socio-economic crisis, largely not created by the president, but he stood out and he said he can lead us out of on it. a path out of this. Okay. We are not expecting miracles that in a day or a week or a month or even a year, we can solve all the socio-economic issues we are having. But we, knew we do need a plan. That's why we are saying it has to be peaceful and progressive so okay. that gradually we can get out of the rut that mm -hmm. we are in as a nation. Okay. Back yes, to the yes. National Assembly. Yeah, Back yes, to the yes, National yes. Assembly. I really wanted to yes. give something on Please that. Do. Because I was just wondering what Hans really means when he says um, at the National Assembly, number one, before I even give that comment, it is not rightfully constituted, our National Assembly. And even the previous uh, 12th Assembly, or the House, the former Chief Justice actually instructed the former President to dissolve Parliament because it's not constituted rightfully. Mm -hmm. And that is still the same case as to now. So as we, as he says he we would want to have members of Parliament answering to the executive there's still an issue where this is, number one, a house that's not rightfully constituted. They all need to go home mm -hmm. as we speak. Number two, um, I'm just wondering what he means when he says they should be answering to the president whenever he wants to. That's interfering with the independence of that house. Number three, uh, these are people mandated to represent the people not the presidency or the party or whatever uh, parties in regime or leading. So they are actually in the house. Their business in the house is to talk, to legislate, to oversight the executive, not to answer to the executive. Mm -hmm. And lastly, um, to offer legislation, the rules. They are the lawmakers in the country. So if at all, they should be on the side of the people. So uh, it's really contradicting to hear that uh, Hans, who happens to be like a fellow youth mm -hmm. here, uh, he should be speaking of actually ways as to how the youth can now take up these positions okay. and be leaders uh, of tomorrow, leaders of today. Because what we are really saying here is that we've come at a point where we are really seeing everything, our livelihoods get legislated out of existence just because the parliament has failed to rise to the occasion and they are, it's like they are being remote controlled. Do, do you think the risk, uh, or are we at risk of that situation getting worse now with the coalition between the two leaders? I don't think we are at risk because um, them themselves, they